Olive was standing in front of a clock tower that was next to a big old building. Nearby stood some people, all holding cameras and muttering. Hello, I'm Olive. Is there something wrong? She asked. You betcha, Olive said one of the group. We've all been waiting for Big Ben here to chime at midday, but the clocks have stopped. Hmm. Sounds like something's gone wrong. Sure has. Don't worry. I'll go and investigate. Olive opened a door at the bottom of the tower and climbed some stairs right to the top. She found herself in a huge room with a back-to-front clock face on each wall. Oh. The room was full of cogs, wheels, levers and pulleys, and at the top hung a giant bell. Ooh. Oh, bother, bother, bother. Olive spied a spiky hedgehog, poking at the cogs with a screwdriver. Hello, I'm Olive. Can I help? Hello, I'm Little Ben, keeper of the great clock. Oh, does that mean you look after Big Ben? Big Ben isn't the clock or the tower. It's the name of the big bell up there. Everyone gets that wrong. Oh, sorry. Well, I've learned something there. So why is the clock stopped? Oh, I just don't know. It's a mystery. Then Olive heard something. It was the sound of tweeting. Hmm. A clock that stopped working. Some tweeting sounds. I think I may have an idea. Little Ben, is there some way to see outside? Yes, there's a small window at the top of the clock. Olive climbed a ladder, which led to the window. She opened it and peered out. There was a nest on a ledge just above the minute hand of the clock, and it was full of tweeting baby storks. Oh, the stork's nest has jammed the clock hand. Oh, the clocks are all connected, you see. If one stops, they all stop. I need to move the nest to a safer place. Well, you'd better use this harness if you're going outside. Olive carefully climbed out of the window onto the clock face. Oh, uh, it's a bit high. You're quite safe, Olive. Olive shimmied down the hour hand, then edged along the minute hand towards the nest. The crowd, watching below, gasped. Oh, wow. Olive grabbed the nest with the baby storks. She climbed back towards the window, carrying the nest. But as she reached the window, one of the baby storks fell out of the nest. Okay. Oh. The baby stork was falling towards the ground when suddenly out of the sky swooped the mummy stork, who caught the baby on her back. Yeah. Olive climbed in through the window with the nest and the mummy stork flew in after her. Oh, well done, Olive. The clocks are working again. But the mummy stork was not pleased. Sorry. Maybe a nest can go somewhere else. I think I have the perfect place. Little Ben placed the nest near the window and left it open so the mummy stork could fly in and out. All the storks seemed very happy. Olive helped Little Ben reset the clocks just in time for Big Ben's midday bombs. Thanks for all your help, Olive. Gig, those are really loud. I think it's time I clocked off for the day. <laughs> they all laughed, and as they did, Olive realised it was time to go. Oh, typical Olive daydreaming again, said her mum. Gig, actually, I helped Big Ben go bong. Your head's been in the sand too long, dear, said Olive's dad. Her little brother laughed. <laughs> but Olive wasn't listening. She was already dreaming of her next big adventure. <laughs>